here what's good cryptocurrency fans out there welcome back to the everything all coin channel today we're going to be talking about the fork of ethereum this could be very huge seeing that we already had another we already had one fork of ethereum with ETH classic now we looking like we're going to get a new fork and this is very exciting as of right now to see what is going to be happening but we will be talking about two things basically a, a little article that came out with vitalik talking about it and how just the sun plans to make uh plans to list these two uh eth uh so it's going to be very exciting to actually see the future of what things is going to happen what problems are going to be caused in this community things like that before we get into talking about that i would like to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already been on the road to 10k subscribers so if you guys would like to help out with that just hit that red subscribe button don't forget to like the video comment anything in the comment section down below and most importantly is to hit that bell button and get notified every time i upload a video and lastly, check out the description down below for the Discord and the Patreon. Remember, the Patreon has a new tier regarding private sale. So, if you guys would like to get into some upcoming projects, private sale, join that Patreon, join the Discord, and let's get right into the video, guys. So, you guys already know with ETH 2.0 coming out, uh, people are making a lot of money basically buying and holding uh, ETH as of right now for like, you know, past 14 days. As you can see, ETH has been going up, uh, has this little thing um where are we at right now 30 days as you guys can see it's close to 1800 as of right now could be 2000 a 2000 dollar eth um soon who knows depends on how the market is looking but people are very excited for ethereum you even got uh ethereum related uh ethereum 2.0 related projects going up like rocket pool lido these are staking pools for ethereum um so that is pretty exciting to see so people are very excited for ethereum but not the not the miners not the miners right so this happened like you know the end of last month chandler gao i think i'm pronouncing that last name uh right he said we will fork eat right you will get free cash so it seems like not seems but they were in the making of forking ethereum because the miners know that this is not going to be good for them so they're going to be forking ETH. now with that you know there's already been some controversy here as you guys can see vitalik calls out the calls out the ETH w hard fork proponent as trying to make a quick buck right so speaking in a closed press conference during south korea blockchain uh blockchain week ethereum founder vitalik called out people pushing for a hard fork of ethereum to retain the proof of work simply trying to make a quick buck right justin sun recently announced support of heart of a hard fork of ethereum post merge by listing two new tokens on his polonix exchange the tokens will be named pro uh the the tokens will be named eth s and eth w related to proof of stake and proof of work respectively uh eth w will represent the newly hard forked ethereum where gpu miners continue to mine ethereum after the merge of the beacon chain some Chinese miners have reportedly signed up to be a part of the new chain in conjunction with Justin Sun, right? Further, uh, further, Sun is looking to incentivize a move to fork Ethereum to retain a version of the current network within proof of work chain. He's offering up to $1 million, $1 million uh, ETH W to build a developer community should the chain become realized so justin sun is leading this charge as of right now him and some other miners are leading the charge for ethw could that cause some problems right now uh, i can see it causing some problems but as you guys can see we currently have more than 1 million eth if ethereum hard fork success uh, succeeds we will donate some fork ethw to ethw community community and developers to build ethereum ecosystem right so the Ethereum merge is expected to happen in September 2022. Uh, will was the first, uh, the world's first exchange to list ETH, and now the first one to support potential forking of ETH with listing of two potential fork, uh, fork ETH tokens, ETH S and ETH W. Right now, Vitalik says, however, uh, however, Vitalik quickly puts an onus on the proof of work chain instead of accepting that this could cause issues with the with what many will consider a mainnet should a fork gain traction. Vitalik expresses, I'm sure there's gonna be problems if they want to make a fork, it's on them to migrate those problems. So as you guys can see, this is getting very juicy out here between Vitalik, uh, Justin Sun, and some of the other miners, um, a part of this ETH, uh, ETH W, um, you know, ETH W thing. Going back to Twitter here to 
you know, spell to talk about more of the drama here. As you guys can see, Barry says this is a smart play for ETH miners. Indicate intent to move ETC post merge to eliminate uncertainty. Less uncertainty equals higher ETH price and higher miner revenue until merge. Follow the AMP pool and financially support ETC ecosystem. Talk to you know such and such. Now, Chandler says ETHW has. 202 million addresses already versus ETH Classic having 6, uh, 66,000 addresses, right? Now, under that post, Barry says you have the opportunity to be the hero or the villain here. Choose hero. This is getting spicy, you guys. I love the drama. I want to see what is going to happen here. But as you guys can see, the addresses for ETH W is growing. Chandler is the guy that you guys will want to follow as of right now. He is constantly putting up posts talking about what's going on here so i am going to be following them right now wall street cryptos asks how will you fix the scaling issue in ETHW and high gas fees that is a huge huge question and a great question we have to see what the response to that will be right so the this little this little um debacle and problems that's going on with ETH uh ETH classic ETH W and ETH S is going to be interesting to watch throughout the whole rest of the summer all the way up leading up to the merge and after the merge we have to see what is going to happen of course there's going to be some opportunities to make money off of ETH S ETH, uh, ETH classic whatever it may be there's going to be some opportunities to make some you know some swing trades off of that so I'm going to be watching this closely and see what happens but I'm excited about this drama I, I don't know I just I just like to see the drama and see what's going to happen from all of it all but leave your thoughts in the comment section down below how you guys feel about ETH classic ETH W and ETH S leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and if you guys haven't subscribed there yet please do so we're on a road to 10k subscribers so if you guys want to help out with that just hit that red subscribe button don't forget to like the video comment anything in the comment section down below and I'll check you guys later peace you too